Now, the Electoral Commission of Ghana insists that the voter register is credible for the 2024 polls, now dismissing calls for a forensic audit. This assertion was made during an inter-party advisory committee IPAC meeting where the commission addressed concerns raised by the National Democratic Congress, that's the NDC, regarding the provisional voters register. Hansen Ajiman has more. Anticipated meeting was attended by members of the elections management body, representatives from political parties, civil society organizations, and the diplomatic community. The commission entered the meeting eager to counter the NDC's concerns and dispel claims about the credibility of the voter register for the upcoming elections. They were hopeful of achieving this in a cordial environment. The NDC has in the past month identified various anomalies in the voter roll following the exhibition of the voter register. Among the issues cited were instances of voters' names allegedly deleted from the register, missing names and unsolicited transfers. Chairperson of the Commission, Jen Mensah, noted during the meeting that such errors are expected to emerge in an exercise like an exhibition. It is important to exercise, to emphasize that the register in question is a provisional one. As its name suggests, it is a draft. It is not the final voters register. It is not perfect and it is not final. The NDC had requested a forensic audit to address these errors, but the commission stated that such an exercise will be pointless as they had already corrected the issues through internal mechanisms stipulated by law. Our staff are well trained and have the capacity and the competencies as well as the skills to undertake the task of producing a final and credible voters register. We certainly do not require external assistance in our line of work. By way of information, there exist legal and administrative processes that we follow from the registration exercise until the final voters register is produced. During the meeting, a member of the commission's IT team was given the opportunity to respond directly to the NDC's claims. Dr. Yao Ofori Eji described many of the NDC's concerns as unsubstantiated, particularly regarding the claims of deleted names. This deletion, they said, was due to transfers. In our minds, we can't see how you can delete somebody by transferring them. Because transfers are allowed. So you can't delete somebody by transferring them. I also like to say that the way the voter management system is designed, and indeed ABIS, once you get registered onto the system, you cannot be deleted. You are there till eternity. He acknowledged that some errors had occurred, but explained that they had been rectified. In Pusiga, where voter transfers were made without the consent of the voters, the commission attributed this to loopholes in its system and assured that such transfer had all been reversed. These were reported to us by the original director that 38 voters had been illegally transferred from Pusiga. And as I have said, this occurred because the, election, the Electoral Commission's own staff took advantage of a vulnerability that was in the system. And that vulnerability was the absence of a liveliness check. And so, him, as, as the, the narrative goes, in collusion with some other people, used the voter ID card, the picture on the voter ID card, to verify the individuals and do a transfer. Be that as it may, because our systems work, we're able to verify that indeed spoofing had occurred. After the Electoral Commission's presentation, political parties were given a chance to respond. The NDC, whose analysis revealed some issues, accused the AC of evading the main solutions to the problems. 
what we see here is mopping and mopping and mopping. Fixing the leakage is missing. And this is at the heart of our altruistic demand for a forensic audit. This forensic audit is not just about the register. Their counterparts in the NPP referred them to similar concerns raised during the 2016 elections. But at this point, we are asking you, NDC, challenge the presentation by the Electoral Commission and let all of us know. We are asking you, based on one, two, three names, we are talking about 200,000, we are talking about 300,000, we are talking about 15,000. We want to see those names. If indeed you have it, present for us on this forum for us to see. While the majority of minority parties acknowledge the NDC's advocacy, they also dismissed calls for forensic audit. Ekuya Donko, flag bearer of the Ghana Freedom Party, criticized the NDC for what she sees as deliberate attempts to undermine the Electoral Commission's work. Another flag bearer, Hassan Ayarga of All People's Congress, accused political parties of initiating the errors in the register. The computers are not human beings, they are systems. What you feed it is what it's going to give back to you. It will not give you a different thing. We want to win elections as political leader and look at our attitude. We want to be president of the Republic of Ghana, yet we are corrupt. Although the EC allowed all parties present to express their views, not everyone was satisfied with how the encounter was handled. Please take your seats. Please take your seats. Please take your seat. The Electoral Commission is not only assuring Ghanaians and political parties of a credible voters register by this presentation, it has given its indication to make available a new register for exhibition online. Reporting for Channel One News, Hansen Ajeman.